right, three way into Andretti. We've had the pleasure of working with several NASCAR drivers, uh, a couple of Xfinity and one Cup driver this weekend. And it's to their benefit to get more seat time. They're pretty limited on the amount of practice they can do. And our TA2 cars are a perfect substitute for the stock cars they normally race. And so it's an opportunity for them to get more seat time. And my role, in addition to driving the car, is coaching them through how to go faster around road courses. In 2015, I remember driving one for the first time, and, and I had been competing in the NASCAR K&N series. And the first laps I made in a TA2 car, I was like, man, this is very close. You know, this is very relevant to what, what we're doing over there um, with, with Justin Haley at the time, who I was coaching here and on the K&N side of things. And more people need to be, be doing this if they want to get NASCAR experience, um, whether it be on a road course or an oval, because it's a very similar car. Yeah, the Trans Am Series has been really productive for me as a road course racer. Uh, we got Michael Self here who's been able to train us and um, having the data and the in-car footage is really beneficial, especially whenever you come to a racetrack where you haven't been very much, uh, you're able to look at data, uh, look at the in-car video and see where you're strong and where you're weak at. This car is a very simple car. They're, um, they're, they're very raw. They're a, a, a very, very raw race car. You could get into a, a you know, a Porsche or, or Maserati or one of those cars. They're really high-end cars that are nice, but there's, you have trash control, you have the ABS, you know, heck, they got air conditioning. These cars are as raw a race cars you can get that can directly correlate with the NASCAR, Xfinity cars, K&N cars, trucks, and, and uh, you know, the, the cup cars now. So they're, they're a really good car, just a raw race car. Yeah, the, the driver does everything. There's not a lot of electronic help. In fact, there's no electronic help in the car whatsoever. So the better drivers can go to the front. And the benefit to that is if you don't have a perfect car, you can still race it well. They're a ton of fun. You, you really slip and slide around, and the, the tires are really forgiving, so you can really drive them hard and slide all over the place. So they're a ton of fun to drive. Now you're seeing 30-plus cars in a race, and in my opinion, you've got some of the most accomplished and, and some of the best road racers in the United States racing in this series right now. And you got uh, guys like Thomas Merrill and Mike Skeen and Tyler Casera and, and Rafa Matos. You know, those guys are going to go be competitive in any series they run. I mean, whether it's IMSA or whether it's going to be NASCAR on a road course, those guys are going to be competitive. And so it's cool to come to a, a series where you've got all those guys competing, but you've also got a, a range through the entire field of guys that maybe don't have quite as much experience. There's someone for everyone to race against, which is really nice. It's, a, it's an affordable series. I love the tracks that we go to. You go to Road America, you go to Sebring, Road Atlanta, uh, Laguna Seca, um, even all the way up to Brainerd. Some tracks that, that I really enjoy and some of the more notorious uh, road courses in the United States. Racing is always about having the best equipment that you can have, but for sure, it's the most competitive series out there right now, and unfortunately, I, I think it's the best kept secret in motorsports. It's the best racing out there, and uh, I'm really happy to be racing in front of 105,000 fans this weekend to show them how good Trans Am is.